Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how you can play octaves in an alternative, less conventional way with the right hand. Now the most conventional way to play octaves is to use the index and the middle finger. Such as that. And I've shown you this in another video. Another quite conventional way is slap. You know, so slap and pop, thumb slap and popping with one of the um, uh, next two fingers, index or middle finger. But now I'm going to show you a technique that is sort of based a little bit on the banjo playing technique. It involves simply plucking the thumb downwards and using first or second finger to pluck the octaves upwards. So it's like this. Now I'm using the second finger here, my <laughs> this way. I'm using the second finger, my longest finger, for the um, string that's furthest away. It's actually quite easy to play. And if I want to play, if I want to play do do doom, I can quickly then go lower octave then second first. That works quite well for faster lines and I'll show you that in a demonstration with some backing music in a minute. So that's basically it. So Okay, so practice that. It's actually very easy to apply and I actually came across this method when I was doing a gig and I was using this uh, this method, you know, the standard method, first and second finger uh, octave playing, and I started to get fatigued after playing a song for a very, very long time. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to try something else. It's very light and easy. And I found that this method using the, um, the thumb and the middle finger worked really, really well and enabled me to play fast and loose. And that's what I find really good about this. There's absolutely no fatigue. You know, the wrist is quite comfortable and the fingers are just always very loose over the strings. And you can actually afford to hit the strings or pluck the strings, play the strings, strike the strings a little bit softer. You don't have to play incredibly loud. You just maybe bump up the volume on your bass or amp a little bit. OK, so I'm going to go through a piece now, a disco style piece. And this time I won't tell you what the chords are, and that is because you can actually follow both orally as well as visually what my fretting hand is doing. I'll only be playing octaves, it'll start on B flat, so you can use either my first finger or fourth finger as a guide. So I'll be only playing those notes. So of course B flat, F, E flat, D, whatever the notes may be, you can then follow those through the chord sequence. So the first time I'm going to play through unga, 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 just like eighth notes, and then I'll do a second chorus where I go um ta ta um ta um ta um ta um ta ta um ta using this alternating uh, right hand, second finger, first finger plucking technique. Now I'm going to play all of the notes, all of the root notes or the lower octaves on off the A string. So I won't be playing any notes on the E string at all. And at the same time, that enables me to actually slightly mute the E string with the, um, you know, the lower part of the, the, um, my hand here, or my, my wrist, I guess, you know. So that way you get a very clean sound. And the middle string, see the D string, is actually muted via just draping across the, the first finger there. So it's going to be, you can see, it'll be a very sort of clean sort of sound that I'll be producing there. Okay, so here's a run through and what I'll do after that, I'll just um, let the track play for you a few times, maybe two or three times through and then you can play along with it.
the Band in a Box track just for you to play along with. Enjoy your results. See you next time. Bye for now.